Hey guys, I'm Sam. I spent the last two months testing out Minimalist Malay Bond Repair Complex Serum, which, full disclosure, I won in a giveaway. Thank you, Minimalist. It has a base of argan oil, squalane, and coconut oil, and a patent-pending combination of malic acid, transglutaminase, and amino acids. Their website claims that it repairs weak and damaged hair bonds caused by UV exposure, followed with mechanical stress, heat styling, coloring, and treatments like straightening. As someone who has naturally curly wavy hair and had recently fried it using bleach and dye and heat tools, I thought I'd be the perfect candidate to test it out. These are the products I use on a regular basis for my hair. I use a gentle shampoo from WOW, a deep nourishing conditioner, as well as this hair serum from L'Oreal, which is so good. But because it's so good, I decided to retire it for the course of this experiment because I really wanted to see how the bond repair works on its own. So it's day one and I haven't used the bond repair serum at all till date. It smells kind of nostalgic to me, kind of like candy or something. I used five to six drops of the oil and applied it to the front right section of my hair, which has some bleached pieces as well as some normal hair. And this is the section of hair that you guys will observe two months of progress on. The application process is really easy. It feels quite familiar to any Indian because we're really used to oiling our hair. It's a little thinner in texture than your normal coconut oil, castor oil, those kinds of things. It's really easy to work in. I used a wide tooth comb to kind of get in there a little bit and then a fine tooth comb to make sure that it coated every strand. So now I just leave it for an hour and I'm gonna go shampoo and update you on what it feels like right after the wash. Alright, my hair is 100% dry on day one and this is how it looks after air drying. These are my natural wave shapes. I'm not too surprised by what it looks like right now because this is how it always looks when it dries on day one. But I am curious to see if my hair holds the curl over time. The texture feels kind of a little bit drier than the rest of the hair. But I'm hoping it gets softer and feels like more natural over time. Hello. It is the morning after wash two. This is the side that did not get the Olaplex. This is the side that did not get the minimalist treatment. And this is the side that has been treated twice so far. I feel like there's a difference in the amount of frizz. Can you see it? I have only light coming onto my face from right in front and this time I made sure to use a sulfate shampoo and then shampoo the treatment out so that there's no residue left. This is the side without the treatment and this is the side with the treatment. I have still only used it two times but I did realize that there might be a difference being caused because I'm only treating one ch chunk of my chunk <laughs> because I'm only treating one chunk of my hair with anything like just an oil or just anything that protects it from the water so this time i did put some product into both sides of my hair i used that l'oreal oil serum you can see the ends of my hair here they actually do look pretty similar when i put the product in both sides the ends of the treated side feel softer than the ends of the untreated side the day after wash three and this is how my hair looks um both sides feel very very rough today and that is because i forgot to condition my hair the point of conditioner is to remove the static electricity that's in your hair after shampooing if you don't do that you are going to get frizz anyway and that's what i'm dealing with right now i can't even run my fingers through my hair um, and at first i thought it was the treatment and i was like oh it's not working or it's damaging my hair or something no it's not that i forgot to condition and this is how it looks. Both sides look kind of ratchet and frizzy today. <laughs> this is the treated side. And this is the untreated side. I just finished using it for the fourth time. I decided that this time I'm going to show you how my hair looks after a few days after washing. Just to see how the hair kind of wears <laughs> through the, you know, like challenges of the week. 
So it's been like three or four days since I washed my hair and this is how the treated side looks and this is how the untreated side looks. And I think you can see the difference um, like most starkly right at the ends. It's like much bushier here and here it's still holding its shape and stuff. So yeah. Hello, hello. So I've used the Malayic treatment five times over the course of about two months and this is how my hair looks. This is the treated side, this is the untreated side. This side has quite a bit of bleaching. If you observe the ends, I do feel like they clump together a little bit and retain a little bit more shine than this side. So I've been wearing my hair in a bunch of different ways. The only thing I've not done is heat style my hair yet because I didn't want that to interfere with the results. Last night, I straightened my hair and pinned it up into like four very giant curls on the top of my head to give myself a bit of a blowout. So let's have a look at how the treated hair fares after heat styling. So here's how both sections of my hair look. It might be placebo, but I do feel like this side feels a little bit smoother to glide my fingers on than this side. Um, but otherwise, I don't see that much of a difference. So I guess that is the heat styling check-in. I have a few takeaways. It doesn't replace all of your other hair care products. If you use conditioner, you still have to use it. Conditioner is not going to get replaced by this. If you use a styling serum or something, it gives you kind of the same finish. So like cosmetic finish wise, it's possible to achieve hair that looks like this without this treatment. But I will say that this hair performs a little bit better when I don't put anything on it compared to this side of my hair. The last thing is it does give you some results but I feel like it does flatline after about three washes you're gonna you get what you're gonna get like skincare products they do their best for you and then you kind of like hit a plateau I think that's what's happened with my hair because after wash number three I didn't see a significant difference in my hair it's very economical I will say that so I think it would work for you if you're trying to grow your hair long you don't have too much damage in it and you just want to keep it nice and healthy and like strong at the ends as well. But if you're trying to repair like severely damaged hair or something, you might need something a little bit stronger. Would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. I think it's going to take me a while to get through the entire bottle. From now on, I think like since the underneath layers of my hair are pretty healthy anyway, I'll probably just stick to the crown and like the area that gets exposed to the elements. I forgot to film an outro. <laughs> Let me know if you are going to be trying the minimalist Malayic bond repair treatment. If you have tried it already, tell me what your experience was and what your hair type is, what your general like hair styling habits are. I'm very curious to know about more experiences. I hope you thought this video was not too shabby. If you liked it, subscribe so that I can see your face again. And I will be back next time. <laughs> Bye. Alright, I have no idea why this is happening. Uh, is it a lighting issue? Is my usual uh, my usual hair care routine is my usual my usual hair care routine is pretty basic. I don't really my usual hair care routine is my usual hair. My usual hair care routine is pretty basic.